Um, this was a request by FERP. First thing we're going to do is we're going to choose our text. Okay, We're going to use default text here because there's no outlines or anything. Okay, We're going to put that in there. Now let's go ahead and uh, put that in there. Look at that. FERP's tutorial. Big lights, uh, loud music, the whole nine yards for you today. Now what we need to do is we need to duplicate that text. I'm going to copy it once and paste in the second track. Okay, That'll just save you a lot of time. I'm going to mute this top track so that you can see what we're working on here in the second one and I'll turn the top track back on in a moment. Choose Edit Generated Media. Okay. Now we're going to change our font size here. Okay. Let's increase that font size uh, to 180. That looks about right. Now we also want to change here and put this all in one line. Okay, instead of having two separate lines. Okay. Now we need to go to our placement. And we're going to start this off right in the middle. We'll start it off right in the middle. And let's put this up to uh, yeah, 510. This is our height right here on the Y axis. Now we're going to edit the color because we need to change the shading. So we're going to go to our properties. And I'm going to keep it as a grayscale. So I'm going to hit my little color bar here. And we're going to take that down. Uh, right about 50% or so. Okay, there we go. Now we're going to add a second point because this is going to have motion to it. Okay, so on this bar down here, we're going to add a second point. Since we've picked our text color and everything, um, it'll just duplicate that same information, that second point. And we're going to go back to placement. And we're going to go ahead and move this over. Now you can make this move as fast or as slow as you want. I'm just going to move it over a little bit there uh, because we actually don't need to see the whole line of text a second time. We just want to have that motion effect and that kind of drop shadow effect going on. Now something that's important to check, remember I said uh, to, to look at where you were at up here on how high you have it. On the first one, I was at 510. On the second one, second point I'm at 547 now you can move it up and down and try to match it but to be honest it's easier just to click in here and type over that way it's level now if you purposely want to go diagonally feel free uh, to have the first point and the second point at different levels okay now we've got our text looks pretty good we're gonna duplicate this okay always easier to duplicate than to start over so we're gonna paste it in Okay, now I'm gonna mute the middle track there so that we can work with just this bottom one. We're gonna choose edit generated media I'm gonna start off here by removing the end point okay. I'm doing that because it's just easier uh, to set a second point later now you probably want uh, to maybe offset this a little bit different from the first one. So I'm going to move it over here like that. Oops, I made a mistake here. Because I didn't click on this point, it's going to move that funny here. See, it's diagonal right now. We don't want that. So we need to go back here. There. I'll just delete that first point. I'm going to take this one here. I'm actually going to leave that there for the moment. I'm going to create a new point. Now it's at uh, 412. So we're going to move this over. And 
412, that looks good. Now, let's unmute these and see what we've got. Uh, they're both moving the same direction. Um, that's easy enough to change here. So we're going to stop it. And we're just going to switch these two points. Oh, looks like I've got an extra point in there. Now this will happen from time to time. You'll get an extra point in there when you click. So just uh, expand it by scrolling with your mouse. See that? How it's changing size. And then delete the point that you don't want. Now we're going to swap these. There we go. Now let's take a look here, see if I did that right. There we go. Now you've got a layered effect. Now one other thing here, uh, it doesn't look too bad like that, uh, but they're all the same, they're the same size, so it doesn't give you as much depth. So we're going to go ahead select that. I deleted the right hand point. We're going to start here with the left hand point. That's my roommate, by the way, in the background making all that noise. But uh, now we're going to increase the size. So let's go back to edit. And let's change that size here. Uh, let's make it much bigger. There we go. And we also want to change the color while we're at it here. Let's make this one even darker yet. So go back to our properties, go back to our grayscale, and we'll take that down quite a bit there. Okay. Now we can set our second point, go back to placement. And we'll go ahead and move this over. Let's take a look here. Let's see how it looks now. There you go. You've got your layered text. I'm not real satisfied with that yet. Uh, so we're going to we're going to make a couple more changes. We're going to go ahead and increase this again. I want the size of this to be significantly larger than what it really needs to be. The other thing is I kind of want it to be cut off a little bit. I don't necessarily want it showing the whole thing. Uh, also, I'm thinking after watching this that it makes more sense to start them both out at about the same spot. Okay, so that's they're both in the middle now. Okay, so let's set this point again. And we'll just move that over, make sure the same height. Let's see, 473. We want that one to be 473 also. Okay. Now let's go back to the middle track, because I think it needs to be a little bit darker. So we're going to edit generated media. The font size could probably go up a little bit also. Now remember, You've got two points. If you change it only on one, it's going to mess it up. Um, I'm, so I'm going to delete that last point. It's just easier to work that way. Go to the first point. We're going to increase that font size a little bit more. Uh, a little bit more. I want to change the color because I think it really needs to be a little darker. There we go. Not tremendously dark, just a little bit. Could go back to my placement. Gonna add my second point back. And I'm gonna move it. Now I've just changed the direction that they're moving, so don't be too surprised. There we go. And actually, since it's right at the very end, we'll stop it right there and see. Let's make sure the same height. Let's see, 510. Let's make this one 510 as well. 
Let's see how it looks now. There you go. Now there's a layered effect for you. Now another thing is too, right now I have the lighter layer over top of the darker layer. Okay. You're real easy to change. Just move your track. Okay. So now they're overlapping a little bit different. It may not seem like it makes much of a difference, but it does. There you go. You see the way that they're overlapping there? Well, I hope that makes sense to you. Obviously, you can spend a lot of time doing an effect like this to get it the way you want it to look. Uh, I haven't spent very much time doing that uh, for the tutorial portion, but I did spend about 30 minutes uh, trying to get it to look right for my introduction and then tweaking it for another maybe 30 minutes. I hope that helps you, and for, thank you uh, for the great suggestion here. Uh, maybe this will help other people uh, as well. Thanks again. Bye-bye.